Hey guys, welcome to another video of Benoit OB Reviews. Uh, so today I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, get uh, something that Royal OB sent me to do a review about. So we'll get started. So this tool is the 800 watt inverter. Uh, it can do three, uh, three ways of uh, charging it or converting the power. So you can plug it in the cigarette lighter use your Royal B 18 volt battery or use a cable to plug it directly to a battery so there's three ways to do it uh, we're gonna unbox this this is the model RYI8030A so on the box it says that if you use the Zirac uh, car batteries, it gives you 800 watt output. If you use your 18 volt battery, it gives you 300 watt output. And the car uh, charger gives you 120 watt output. So this tool I've been supplied for, to me for free by Royal OB because this is not available in my country yet, which I am in Canada. And uh, I wanted to do some test on it, so they send it to me. So the first thing is write the review, which we'll do later on. What else is in the box there? Oh, it tells you example of what you can charge uh, with the different charger that they have here. It's kind of funny they don't show you this charger in particular uh, I got this one as well that I'm going to do a review to 150 watt it works great for what I've been doing so far but anyway that's for later on I was on the box so that's it here. okay so now we have some power cables Looks like they have a nice strong grip and all the way around it's protected so that you cannot touch the cables by accident as you're connecting everything. And on this side that's a slip on inlet. We'll see how it connects later. This I'm not sure what this is here. And sure maybe that's to plug maybe that's plug in your cable like this I'm not sure we'll see in a second okay we'll continue so the same level here looks like it's the car auxiliary adapter or you still call it the cigarette lighter adapter none of the new car really have cigarette lighter anymore so it looks like they have a special plug to plug this in and your adapter with the push clip there and a little clip at the end to make sure that you have a good connection. Nothing in this box and it looks like there's just the inverter left in here. and small portable it's like about uh, you know the same size of a, a book like a big book or lunch box <laughs> so you can plug in your adapter right at the back so yeah it's like you just plug it in here and now you can plug it to your car Or we can plug in a battery. What do you have here? A light. And 
Okay, so for this to work, you have to hold it for a minute. Okay, there's a troubleshooting that I just saw here. So for all those lights here, it shows you if they're green, that means everything is normal. If they're flashing yellow, that means that the battery is low that you're connected to. Or if it's flashing red, that means that you're overloading one of those systems. So in the next video, I'm gonna test this unit and then we're gonna try to see all of those lights and all of this here. Um, just to make sure that troubleshooting's working properly. Okay, so that's the flashlight here so you can see what you're doing or you can blind yourself. Oh, okay, and here it tells me what am I plug into? So it knows that it's the battery right now. So it's telling me that it's supplying me 300 watt. We'll see, we'll test those two here and we'll see what happens if it changes the light over. Okay, so when I press the button here, looks like there's a sticker at front of this. Not sure if we're supposed to take it off. Anyway, it's showing me that there's 18.1 volt into this battery right now and we have DC current. So it gives me, looks like it's giving me one plug and a USB that I can use. So I'm not sure if it's just uh, giving me one of those two plugs or if it's giving me like both of them or what I can use exactly. Oh, it looks like you could charge something too with the auxiliary or cigarette lighter plug, which is pretty cool. Okay, so those bracket here, I thought that was to connect the battery somehow, but uh, no, it's actually those two little clips here. They fit into those holes. There's four holes all the way around. You put them in sideway and then you turn it like this. And like this. And now, if I wanted to, I can mount that. Can mount that on the wall. Which is pretty cool. Except that if you do that, then uh, yeah, it won't be easy to unmount and bring it with you. But that could be useful. Most of those adapters have that, but you can unscrew it. Unscrew the top here and uh, underneath here, you know, a fuse. Now this one is 250 volt. Twelve amp. Alright, so on the back of the unit here. There's three cooling fan, and that's where you would plug your power and ground. So if you use the battery clamps, so power power is red. Mark it good so you don't cannot connect that by accident or wrong wire. And they also use the red cable, so everything is everything is red. Clamp, wire, and terminal for your positive, and the same with negative. Black, black cable, and black clamp. Okay, now we're in my pickup truck. I connected the auxiliary adapter and the slot where the battery goes. Uh, that's where it connects. 
and then we'll connect it in the truck. Push it all the way. Is there a light on this? No, there's no light showing you that it's connected properly, but we'll press that button here and see what happens. Okay, so now it shows that we're connected to a battery and we have 12.2 volt and then the light on the adapt on the inverter that is on it detects that it's just the auxiliary power so it's only giving you 120 watt all right now let's connect it to the battery and see what happens Now we're connected to the truck battery. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Let's press that button, make sure it detects the right power. Yep, it detects the right power. And we have 12.3, 12.4 volt. Yep, it's the battery. wonder if the LED light changed. Like, eh, it seems that it's still the same brightness than earlier. All right, so you get it. That's always the unboxing for the 800 watt power inverter for Yobi. So there you have it, the Yobi 800 watt power inverter. So Ryobi supplied it to me for free to test it uh, before they release it in Canada. I do not know the release date yet, but we're going to do some tests and then uh, we'll see how good it is. So subscribe and watch the next video to see more about this.